Oh man, things got heated between Jennifer Botterill and Jamal Myers regarding the whole Cole Perfetti getting high stick by Ryan Hartman thing. Stick around, we got a lot coming up. Oh yeah, things got heated between Jennifer Botterill and Jamal Myers regarding the whole Cole Perfetti getting high stick by Ryan Hartman, okay? What Jamal was saying was one perspective, but what Jennifer was saying was another. They're not both right and they're not both wrong. Well, in fact, actually, that's it's the reverse. They are both right and they are both wrong in their own unique way. Okay, Jamal was saying it's okay to send a message by doing this. But Jennifer was basically saying no, because what kind of example are we setting for kids or fans or anyone, other players for that matter, you know, I like how they both looked at it in a very, you know, unique and different way. And I feel like that's extremely important. Okay. Here's, here's what it all comes down to. All right. The Jets fought twice in response to Dylan's cross checks as part of the code and Hartman still made a gutless dirty play. Dylan fought Middleton, then Lowry fought Maroon immediately at the start of the next game, after Maroon told Lowry straight to his face pre-game that fighting him would both lower the temperature and also prevent the game from getting dirty. I think a lot of people can agree with that. Then Hartman goes and targets a completely uninvolved player, Perfetti, okay? A young, skilled player with injury history. Concussions, folks, okay? When Ryan Strom need Kyle Connor, if you guys remember a while back, Mark Scheifel dropped the gloves with Strom, and that matter was considered settled. No one on the Jets went around trying to injure Trevor Zegris or Leo Carlson to, you know, make it fair. I've got zero issues with Middleton fighting Dylan, and while I think that prop fights are stupid, I get Maroon and Lowry fighting, but what Hartman did is inexcusable. And for the record, Dylan's cross checks should have been penalized, and I hate to see Kaprizov hurt. Now, I'll tell you, this is just one uh, perspective on the matter, but I gotta tell you, we all know that in the game of hockey, it's gonna be aggressive. I mean, how many times are we gonna talk about it? We know this, okay? Especially for being a fan for so many years, it's all part of the game, literally. But to get an uninvolved player, okay, involved in the mix, there's no point for that. Cole Perfetti did not deserve to get high stick by Ryan Hartman. It just, it literally made no sense. But some people are saying, well, he did that, you know, to make sure that he sent a message. It's like there are other ways to send a message other than doing that, especially to someone who's got issues with concussions, okay? These people are supposed to be professionals. They are role models, you know? Imagine these players' kids or something. Would they still be saying the same thing? Saying, hey, you know, we got to police ourselves here. You know, oh, well, is that really sending a message by purposely injuring somebody? I don't know. In that fashion, okay, there are other ways to go about it. Still being aggressive and still being legal within the confines of the NHL. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new here, tap the subscribe button, tap that notification bell to all so you don't miss any videos about hockey, NHL, anything like that. All right. Thanks for checking us out. Put your comments down below. Give us a like. Thanks.